one million to sell. The one show? They're actually uh, interviewing me all because of the videos we've been doing. I have no idea what you're doing Hi folks, well football comes around really quickly. Blackpool are at home tonight against Tramia Rovers and I've got to say, after the Fleetwood game, I felt a lot happier. I thought Blackpool looked a lot more organised. I was interested in Neil Critch's interview after as well where he was saying that he wasn't impressed with the second half where we gave the ball away a little bit too cheaply and I think that's been Blackpool's Achilles heel really all season where when we get under pressure we just give the ball away too easily so hopefully Neil uh, Critch is going to coach that out of them. He does say he wants to coach and improve the players. I think that's great because I think under Simon Grayson um, we were kind of going backwards really as a team. I, you know, We weren't improving, we are actually getting worse so hopefully Neil Critchley will take us forward. I, I also have to mention the Sportsman's Dinner. There's a Sportsman Dinner coming up uh, featuring two stars as Peter Shilton and Bruce Grobel are and it's going to be a great night. I'll leave some details in the link below. Thinking back to the Tramir game uh, just, just before the new year, we just lost two home games then we went to Tramir and if you remember we got really stuck in the mud at Tramir, there was a lot of mud, the pitch was an absolute disgrace. <laughs> We went ahead after nine minutes. Good corner required. They equalised with Morgan Ferrier, who was, it was a handful. I've got to be honest, that first half, he really was a handful. So um, I don't know whether he's playing tonight, but um, if he plays as well as he did at Tramme, you know, he, he is a threat. Hope it's a great video. I'll see you all down at Bloomfield Road. Earlier on, I was in the corner flag. I met um, a, a, a chap from Tramme called Will Gibson, who's been filming football matches since 1977 for Tranmere. He's got cre press accreditation and he's got, he's got all sorts of films going back right to the, to the 1970s. So I'm here with uh, Will Gibson, a Tranmere fan who's been filming since what year? 1977. What started all this craziness, Will? <laughs> well, I started watching them in 1964 and then I went away to boarding school, so I only saw them in the holidays. And when I came back in 1971, I uh, didn't just want to go to the match, I thought, why can't I take a photograph to give me some memory of having been? That's the way at Southport in November 1973 in the old Div 3 days. We got a 2-2 draw with two late goals and then got chased all the way back to the station <laughs> by the local Southport fans because they weren't happy bunnies. It's inside Liverpool. Ah. Um, again, I took my camera with me for the day and thought, why not? Have a, yeah. have a pop. That's inside Everton. I watched a match on a big ground by Boxing Day 75. I was very lucky because Tranmere played at home on a Friday night, so it gave me Saturday to go off and watch either Liverpool or Everton on the bus. I'm kind of hoping tonight he's going to carry on in the same same vein as Fleetwood, really. That first half was absolutely amazing, and if Neil Critch has had a few more days with the players and he gets some playing a system, he's obviously trying to get them into a system as he's been used to coaching at Liverpool, so it'll be really interesting tonight to see exactly how this uh, pans out. Well, I'm super excited for this game. I can't wait to get there actually. I, I just think we're going to win. I just hope it's a good game. I'll see you down there. I think we're back on the up now. We've won two in a row. If we get a night, then I think we'll definitely stay up. We've got some easier games coming up now, I believe. We've got Wimbledon Rochdale, I think we can make beat. I reckon we'll stay up. Um, we've got Mark Ellis back and he seems to have made an excellent comeback. Right. Two goals in two games and I think we'll stay up. So you fancy in the win tonight? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good, good luck to you. The last, the la the last week we've been brilliant. Yeah. Apart from that, we were awful. And you're the champion drummer. Mm -hmm. How fancy going to go on tonight? Um, it's going to be a tough game, I reckon. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say two-one. Two-one. Where am I from? Preston. <laughs> <laughs> there he, there he a lot of Tramier fans, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your names? Richard. Nick, massive. Well, three in a row tonight, I think. Yeah, yeah, three in a row, you yeah. fancy it, yeah? yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure about this five at the back, though. Very pessimistic. <laughs> yeah. What's your predictions then for tonight, go on? 2-1 Two Tramit. Two one. <laughs> yeah, 2-1 Tramit. 2-1 James Vaughan double. I've got uh, Jay Spear in the middle. Training top. Jay Spear is training top, excellent. What's your prediction? 3-0 uh, to the ball.
Oh, so what do you think of that first half? The, the defence though. Yeah. Who, who it just was awful, wasn't it? I think we might have been 3-2 Yeah, 3-2 three, two, easy. 3-2. Three, two. Good lads, confidence. Oh, Bluefield pair, half time penalty shoot. Oh, that was a good one. Great. Oh, for his life. I'm still feeling quite confident because I think uh, Blackpool obviously trying something new with the new coach. They look like the big coach, they look like they're trying something new, but they're just not very good at it yet because they've only been doing it for a week. They look, they're playing completely differently to how they did on Saturday. You, you can see what they're trying to do. They look like they're being coached, they look like they're improving, they just, the balls aren't quite coming off yet. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, and, and I know it, the thing is, Tranmere are, are great, the fans are fantastic, they've not stopped singing in the first half. They're looking sharp, they're looking quick, they're looking up free, and they've got a couple of goals and, and well done to them, but this game isn't over yet. Is she, wa is she watching the game out? Because I thought they were absolutely, I thought they were all over us, I thought we kept giving the ball away, I thought we were two for some runs, I, I, I didn't think we were all that good. But... Two positive substitutions at half time, so let's see what happens. It's not over.
likely to have extra men all over the place. Oh. Just can't, just can't get it through. And... Oh, the gold over here. Why haven't we had a ball over? Too big. Don't let him get a shot. Oh. 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 Blackpool, you don't deserve to lose this. Been magnificent this second half. Get a goal. Chance, come on! This time, took the better one. Come on, Phil! Come on, Blackpool! If ever you've deserved the bloody goal, it's tonight. second half and I was just saying to Lee it reminded me a lot of one for the kids of Steve McMahon you know first half we were we were kind of we were, we were trying to be a bit too clever and they were too streetwise and then second half a bit too late just threw everything at them and I don't know how we just lost it but there we go <laughs> <laughs> just the pain is back isn't it isn't it well we're coming out and to be honest with you I'm, I'm coming out I'm not unhappy to be honest because that was an amazing display from, from Blackpool. No, no, it wasn't. I, I, I thought Blackpool played really well second half. I just, I, I just, you just knew when that second goal didn't go in, and you, we all cheered. It, was, it felt that once that didn't go in, and uh, I just don't know how it didn't go in to be honest. But 
It's encouraging. You it's can, very, you can it's see very, what very do. encouraging. Yeah, I came out full of full of hope. I think with that, you know, second half. I don't know what happened in the first half really, but the only worrying thing is Nangelay's ankle. I, you but he know. seemed to sort of he to pick him up a bit, didn't he? He seemed to sort of get yeah, a new lease of life for the last uh, ten minutes. So. It's just such a shame. I don't know. We didn't. We didn't. It's a game we didn't deserve to lose. Really, a draw, I, I, a draw would have been a fair result. I am really happy for Tranmere because they were just absolutely fantastic. To oh, they really honestly, Tranmere, so. Tranmere, your fans are the best ones that have been at Bloomfield Road all season. You were loud. You, you were awesome, and you deserved it. You deserved it. So I hope you stay up because. Uh, some of the teams down at the bottom I think are actually rubbish and I think you're a good side, you look really good, so I hope you stay up, Tram here. And at the end of the day, our season's over really, we're not going up, we're not going down, so it doesn't really matter to us, as long as we can see that the team are improving, which yeah. we have seen that tonight, and yeah. I'm happy. Tram here were awesome, really good. Well played, Tram. You're staying up, you're staying up, you were brilliant. Fans were amazing. Oh, What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, you'll be all right. You deserve, you deserved it tonight. Fans, you fans deserved it. Hope you stay up, lads. Cheers, mate. Yeah, no, you honestly, fans were top, top, top draw. Yeah, no, you're superb. You deserved it. You deserved it just for you lot. Best fans here all season, but we did give them two goals. But second half, he deserved a draw, really. I thought. Turning we were... point was that keeper you making the save. Yeah, yeah, I know that was. Yeah, I know. They'd have panicked a bit. Yeah, really. you knew it was a turning point when it didn't go in. Actually, I kind of said that's that's a bit. Well, well, I thought that was it. But it was encouraging, you know. It was encouraging. Well, there we are. We've just praised the Tranmere fans because we actually thought they were pretty awesome. Uh, Tranmere, you just never stop singing. The drummers were amazing. It was just bouncing all night from Tranmere, and if anybody deserved the Tranmere fans did. Uh, if you play like that, if, if, if you play like that, Trammy, you won't be going down. That's for certain. But uh, there's a lot of uh, promise from Blackpool. I thought, I thought, uh, I just thought we looked a lot better. Second half, we were, we were really, we deserved a draw. But where are the goals coming from? It's Jewsbury Hall. It's always Jewsbury Hall, isn't it? Which is wonderful. Yeah. But where else are they coming from? I don't from? know. We Nowhere. just, I don't know. We, we just can't score, can we? But, yeah. but we don't, you know. But we don't, we don't really put. We don't really put great balls in. We have a, you know, we had a lot of corners. We had, we had a, a lot of balls in, and they were just. We are nothing. trying different things though, and it, it will come together. But yeah, our corners aren't great. And we, again, we're missing, we're missing Kai in, in a lot of areas, except pieces. You know, the free kicks in the corners. Yeah. I'm missing a lot. I don't know what's happening with him. But Never mind. I hope to see him again. Sunderland on Saturday, is it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you at Sunderland. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As well. If you haven't subscribed yet, just make sure you click that little subscribe button. It's down there, that little square. Just click on that and uh, we'll just keep bringing you videos. Sorry we can't bring you a win, but we are coming out positive in defeat. We're not coming out sad, are we really? No, I'm not sad at all. I've enjoyed that tonight in a weird way. Yeah, in a weird way. we. Yeah, it, it was enjoyable and uh, I like uh, fans that, you know, back, back a team like that. The fans deserved it, didn't they? Yeah. See you in the next one.